What's happening, good people? Welcome back to Search for Tome. My name is Brian. For all you first time viewers out there, thanks for stopping in. If you haven't seen our previous video, you know the pitfalls, perils, and everything we've gone through to try to get this guitar for a review for you. Specifically for our overseas viewers, because you can't get this thing in the US. And you may be asking yourself, well then how did some schmo like me get it? After you're done with this video, go check out that one. I'll leave a link down below and you could see. And you're gonna wanna check that out because you're gonna wanna see what I went through and all the issues that you may have if you're trying to buy something overseas. For you people across the pond, it's probably not so bad. I don't know if it's vice versa. Let me know in the comment section when you go check out that video if the vice versa happens to you when you buy something from our Amazon. But here it is in perfect condition. The Squire Debut Telecaster. The previous one was in that two-tone burst, kind of like the Stratocaster over here. And I'm kind of glad that I got the red because I like a different you know, variety. I do have a red Stratocaster and I have a red Telecaster. Is it any good? Is it as good as the Squire Debut Stratocaster? We're about to find out. Right off the bat, the finish is fine. It's that red matte finish. This is a, I believe, a Dakota red with a spruce body, the laurel fingerboard, and a uh, maple neck. The frets, I believe, are stainless steel. They uh, look like they're probably jumbos. There wasn't too much in the uh, description as far as the size of them. It's a uh, slim C neck, which is actually kind of nice. A little bit of a flatter radius. I'll have to get the uh, radius gauge out and see what see what it is. The uh, enclosed tuners, the usual par for the course. Two uh, single coil pickups, three-way switch, volume, and uh, tone. It's basically, oh, and it uh, looks like a, a plastic nut. We'll give you some tones. While we're doing it, we'll give you some close-ups and we'll see how it is. Right off the bat, it feels pretty good. It kind of, has a good weight to it sometimes. I've gotten like a Squire back in the day that uh, it felt kind of light. And to me, I don't know, like I haven't really ever found a, a Telecaster that I've bonded with. I did find one was kind of relic. It was a Nash Guitars. It should have a little weight to it and a little bit of boxiness to it. This is a little bit thinner, but I feel like it's actually heavier than that uh, Telecaster I did before. So hopefully it has somewhat of a Telecaster sound because I'm really looking to add a Telecaster to my arsenal. For you overseas folks, this is a really cheap option. This actually is still, I believe, only 50 cents cheaper, but that's before taxes and shipping uh, on Amazon for us. If you were to actually go through the hoops and try to get it from overseas, then the cheapest Squire then you can get. So it still actually is the cheapest Telecaster made by Fender that's out there on Amazon. All right, it's been sitting around for a while and I'm just gonna give it a tune up. I haven't done any adjustments to it because as you know, we like to do videos where it's out of the box for you that may not be into adjusting bridge saddles. By the way, our six, which is nice. It's not string through. It's all hardtail stop We're right into the, uh, into the back itself so that's something that you could do actually is even to maybe drill a couple holes and even do a modification of make it your first string through we haven't adjusted the truss rod so there might be a little bit of buzzing but we'll see and i'm not going to take this part of the video like i usually do to ask you to subscribe because you already should have done that uh, here we go the intonation actually isn't all that bad uh, just checked it, you know, briefly, you know, not checking the harmonics, but just pushing down and it's pretty close. So that's pretty good for QCing, at least out of the box. We'll start off with the, uh, the neck pickup. Little fret buzz.
the saddles are pretty flat right now, so it probably actually uh, is just getting a little bit of a fret buzz on the uh, the open D. Might have to just raise it up a little bit. It seems like as you get farther up. Do the bridge in the middle. go to the bridge if you haven't seen the previous video you know about that bridge it actually works
what can I say? But I think it's pretty good, actually. I'm not too sure, but I think um, this one actually might be the better of the uh, debut series between the Stratocaster and the, uh, the Telecaster. I wasn't too crazy about the neck pickup. It didn't sound like it had too much, like, I don't know, the tone that I was looking for. It kind of like the bridge pickup. And if you haven't seen previous videos, you know how I feel about bridge pickups. But those are all simple things that you could change. And a lot of times that's the thing that most people take is that they get a good platform and they just change the electronics. And that's possibly the only thing this thing really needs. The action's pretty good. I'm sure once, you know, changing the, the truss rod, the saddle heights maybe a little bit, it'll get that get that buzz out of there. But, you know, people looking for a good platform to possibly throw their pickups that they prefer in there. It's a great thing. It's a great thing stock the way it is. Coming out and playing it as a new person with not any knowledge whatsoever of doing any changes to it, you'll still probably have a good time with it and then take it to someone if you're not too proficient in, uh, you know, doing the adjustments that needs to be done. And you probably say, why don't you just do that in the beginning? Well, this is straight out of the box reviews. And people get these other guitars from the other companies, you know, Festley or Firefly or West Creek, and they are perfect out of the box. The Tease guitar needed absolutely nothing out of the box. No intonation issues, no buzzing whatsoever. So that's why I do this. These guitars are obviously going to be featured later on with all the adjustments done and everything changed, string changed. They're all always done with the original strings on them. So you get to see what this guitar sounds like later on down the road when it's used in a pedal review or just a simple instructional video that we come out with. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it, actually. I'm kind of glad that I went for the second round of trying to get this thing because the first impression of it was not so great. And again, I'll leave that video in the description below for you to take take a look at. But let me know what you thought about this guitar. If you would contemplate jumping through all those hoops to get this over in uh, America, for you lucky dogs out there over overseas and wherever else you can get them, it's not really that bad of a find. Thank you all for dropping in. And you've all, as always, been a fantastic audience. And remember, stay tuned.